Okay, so we're gonna pretend like that's not sad <laughs> and that it's endearing. But so, hello, my name is Anna, and today I'm gonna talk to you about Yale, the things that I love, things that I was not expecting, but just made my experience, my freshman experience, amazing. Finished up my first year like a week or two ago. I'm not on campus right now, but I'm gonna include pictures, videos, all that from first year. So get it to it. For I'm just gonna get over with the cliche answer of the people in the community because it's absolutely true. There's not a single being that I approach for help who said no. Everyone is the most selfless, genuine, down to earth, kind hearted person. Most passionate and talented people. Like you'll have one person be this genius piano player and also be this expert at building robots. And it's just the most insane thing. And you have people coming in from every background. So any person you talk to is a potential for a life-changing conversation. Just the most welcoming home I could have ever asked for. So second thing is that the environment is not competitive. It is very collaborative, at least from my experience, not being a pre-med. Even in my STEM class, like I took an astrophysics class first and second semester. I remember first semester astrophysics uh, so many people went to office hours and it was chaos in the sense of people were like scrambling to like figure out what on earth was going on in the piece set but everyone was working together the level of collaboration makes making friends a lot easier because everyone just kind of wants to help each other out it's just a good environment to be in in my experience there is high stress in the sense of just the academics can be a lot but you have people there who are gonna help you so number three is actually something that I didn't think about when I was picking a college but the the amount of like built-in support systems freshman year is actually insane. Like you got your Frocos, your big sibs, your peer liaisons, your mentors. You got, wait, oh, mentors within extracurriculars. You got your college head, your college dean, your, uh, I can't read my own writing. Your academic advisor. This isn't, okay, this is insane. My academic advisor, basically they're volunteers. And I got a professor who literally invited me and her two other mentees. She invited us into her home and made us salmon and talked to us about her family and her life and asked about us and our lives. Her husband was there and about his like study abroad experience from Stanford, like back when he was there. It's like insane how much of a connection you get to these people and how much every single layer of support system like really care. Why am I like slowly spinning? How much like every single person truly cares about you and your well-being, your academics, and just you as a person. When I <laughs> said all those names of the support systems, you're probably like, what on earth is that? And I'll probably make a different video like explaining every single person because they really do a lot. Four. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So before I was gonna talk about food, I'm just gonna say food to me on campus is amazing because I feel like a lot of people will say different things, but to me, I feel like there's a lot of variety. You got a dining hall within every single residential college and you got 14 residential colleges. So you basically have 14 dining halls scattered across campus, wherever you are, wherever your classes are, very likely you'll have a place nearby to eat. And you also have different restaurants and stuff around the area from old campus, which is where all the freshmen live. You have like Shake Shack, Taco Bell, a bunch of great places like a block or two away. That's the thing. I feel like you got a lot of options like for lunch you also there's a place called Durfee's that's on old campus and I've shown that in other videos and that basically is like a little convenience store place where you can buy food they got like a basic like necessities and stuff like tape you can use one of your meal swipes to get lunch from there like anything you can get up to like nine dollars worth of food and that's pretty filling they're famous for their chicken tenders they're really good oh yeah and that's you also got a dining app that you can like constantly refresh every day to see what's for breakfast lunch and dinner you can see that day's meals and the next day which is pretty convenient so you can kind of plan ahead so i think we're on point five and five is the butteries they deserve their own point because they're the most amazing invention in the universe they're basically these student run late night snack places where you kind of go and hang out they got pool tables they got ping pong tables they got everything they have like booths they have tables each one is different but they all have good food and good company which is the most important thing of course i have had some of the funnest memories there so they deserve their own point the next one is key like I did not, I need to stand for this. I need to, okay, I think squat because I don't like fit if I stand. But this is key that I never in my life expected someone to tell me this, especially never expected Yale to tell me this. But they really emphasize how learning is more important than grades. I had my uh, academic advisor who is an astrophysics professor. She was telling us, you know, focus, focus more on the learning. Don't focus on grades because, you know, grades naturally come if you're in class engaged learning. The grades will reflect your knowledge gained and i really did not expect that kind of shift in perspective because in high school we're programmed in terms of numbers and values and 
Here, they're really just focused on learn. <laughs> and that's amazing, I think. The other thing that I love is that there's so many just resources for tutors, writing, uh, like essays. You got the Purvu Center. They have, it's a writing center where you can go take your essays and give you feedback. In terms of tutoring, you have like straight up tutors you can request. You have tutors that are just kind of dropped in hours. You have peer tutoring for specific classes, like for math. Those are like office hours arranged through the math department I think and then you just have your straight up office hours with professors so you have tons of opportunities to really get help people are accessible teachers um I know the process for getting a tutor I've heard is very not like for math for example is not very easy or like not very not not easy but it's just like a lengthy process but in general people are there on the vein of tutors something that is really i thought was amazing is they have a very positive connotation not negative at all i feel like in the past the program us to think like tutors means you're struggling and at yale i remember since week one camp yale they're encouraged they said even if you know you're doing really well on a class tutors can help you refresh material and really keep you you know on point they're seen in very positive light and i feel like that is very encouraging and just fosters a very positive environment for learning. Another thing I love is the size of it. In general, I think Yale is pretty small compared to other colleges, but just the actual classes are a really manageable size. Like I did Italian, so the very intro course, first semester was like 15 people. Second semester was also like about 15 to 20 people. So they're like really small. You get to know your teachers. It's really interactive, especially language classes. I was also in a math class. I think it's pretty crazy. One math class had about 30-ish people. One math Math class had eight people and that's crazy that's pretty great those bigger classes like film was a lecture hall so when you do have those larger classes you still get that interaction that engagement within the class within discussion sections like i got to speak to this teacher anyways even though it was a big lecture um so you do still get to know your teachers which is pretty amazing it also doesn't hurt that these are people who are like distinguished in their fields it's insane like first semester um i did this class um introduction to relativity and black holes with this astro physics professor who is doing groundbreaking black holes research and just through that class i got to know him and now i'm going to be doing research with him this summer so really even just right off the bat freshman year you're able to just develop these amazing connections to people that you never would have in a billion years expected i've been dreaming of working with black holes since i was 10 12 and i could never expect it that yo has made this reality come true so early on in my life which is insane it's insane that's why I love Yale. It's insane and unexpected. If you're considering, please apply because it will change your life. Next point is that there is literally always something to do. There's college teas and guests that go within your residential college to give talks. I know last semester they like George Takei came tongue twister. George Takei came to campus. Also the director of SNL. A friend and I went to see him. Melissa Villaseñor, who's a comedian on SNL, also did a stand up and we went to see her. And just even people who like you've never heard of before, but they share their story. And and it's very inspirational and they literally every talk you go to will make you feel like your life has changed and that's like an incomparable experience you also have a ton of trips i know they have a lot they send out a ton of emails where they have like arts and trip lotteries like a trip to new york a trip to skiing they have apple picking they even did a lottery to win broadway tickets which is kind of crazy they have a ton of stuff like that performances there's literally always something to do so i mentioned froco's before now i'm going to talk about duty which is basically every thursday friday saturday sunday your froco organize this thing called duty where you can go down they organize either activities like our fro coast did pancakes every saturday which was amazing they had pizza they have food they send out an email saying what's going on they had mario kart karaoke different stuff themes and all pancakes on saturday hit different that's what I know. This is a random one, but I really, really love the underground basement tunnel system. It does snow, obviously, in the winters and such. So it's really nice that within every single residential college, I think from any entryway, you can go down into the basement and there's a tunnel system. So you can get to like your dining hall, your buttery, your gym, all the amenities. The next thing is financial aid, which is absolutely insane. Recently, they expanded their income bracket of like to be even more generous. You can even get money back. Like if you're coming from out of state, like from places that doesn't have snow they'll give you money to buy like the stuff you need to adjust to the new everything especially if you're a low-income student please 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 check out Yale it can literally change your life so another thing that I really love that is really important is just the security it feels extremely safe on campus um they have these things these escort 
I don't know, escort sounds weird. I think that's what they're called, security escorts. Like if you are going and you have to like be walking out at night, you can call up a van. <laughs> that sounds weird, literally a white van. No, <laughs> it's a Yale shuttle, it's not sketchy. And they basically come pick you up and they take you back home. And it literally, it feels so safe. I literally, I please have some common sense in college, unlike me, because a lot of times I would be going back from a friend's residential college back to my residential college, like walking alone at 3 a.m. And that was like very stupid of me. But even then, like I felt safe. You know what I mean? Like I didn't feel like I was mortally in danger, but you do have those options and a lot of like blue lights and police, it's safe. Another thing I love is old campus and that's basically where all the freshmen live, except for like Franklin, Murray, Selman, T, Volks. But most freshmen live here. It just creates more of a sense of community and union within just the freshman population. Old campus has Jerfies, which is, I've talked about it a lot, and it's basically just a place you can get food, you can get stuff you need. So last thing, the STEM research opportunities are pretty, I think, generous in the sense of like, you'll really takes your hand and guides you through at least freshman year to make sure that you have a research opportunity lined up for the summer. I have friends who even just coming in freshman year during the school year, they did research. They guide you step by step. There's a Dean who is in charge of a lot of things actually, but he does dinners every so often throughout the semester to talk about the process for applying for STEM summer research opportunities. And he also literally meets with students every single morning, like to talk to them, get to know them, um, give them advice and Anything you might want to talk to him about, you can reach out and he's always available. People in general are very available. Resources are there to guide you through and they really take you by the hand. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button and subscribe and click the notification bell um, to know what I post because it really does help support my channel and me and I appreciate it with all my heart. Thank you, stay Gutenberg, and I'll see you next week.